With a little over six months until the big launch of the PS5, Sony has kept pretty guarded over the console. We haven't seen the final design, final specs, launch games, or what the main menu will even look like. The secretive nature seems to be all about building mysterious hype, but now Sony's letting the cat out of the bag. Bingo. As millions anticipate the release of the PS5, we have all the details on when Sony will release the news, why you may have to purchase a specific magazine, and how new patents could change our expectations for the console. In early June, gamers all over the world were ready to experience the big E3 gaming convention, only to see the event get cancelled. Thankfully, if you were expecting some big news during E3 from Sony, it was never going to happen anyway. Sony wasn't scheduled to attend the event, but the company plans on taking advantage of the key dates. The newest rumors point to June 4th as Sony's huge PS5 announcement day. After months with little information, we are going to be splurged with pretty much everything we need to know. The month of June is typically dedicated to other consoles and third-party developers, but the cancellation of E3 gives Sony an open forum and a digital platform to make the PS5 shine. If true, the PS5 will steal all the gaming headlines have a ton of focus on their new console, and supply gamers with the hype and pre-order options to help coast through the summer months. And early June seems like perfect timing for Sony. The biggest teaser we've gotten so far is for the new DualSense controller. The innovative controller debuted online and garnered over 4 million likes on Instagram alone. Now with E3 cancelled, Sony is going to leverage their online presence and give us all the info we need. But does the strategy work? Over the past few months, Microsoft has been revealing tidbits about the Xbox Series X, showcasing the console design and teasing a bunch of new games. While you can find out a ton more about the Xbox, the PS5 is the console receiving all the hype at this moment. Even if Microsoft plans more reveals for the month of May, by June, the court will be open for Sony to take advantage and get all the momentum back for the PS5. Sony waiting to pull the trigger was a smart move, especially with so many PS4 titles still on the radar. A lot of hype and marketing was built into the release of the Final Fantasy VII Remake, along with upcoming titles like The Last of Us Part II. So while Microsoft was getting a lead on new console information, Sony had the tough balancing act of promoting new PS4 titles while holding off on the PS5 news and announcements. The last thing the company wants is to deal with players holding off on new game purchases and waiting for the PS5 release. A few days before the big PS5 reveal, gamers may get more details and screenshots through the release of the official PlayStation magazine. Yep, in the digital age, we're going to be flipping through a magazine looking for the next-gen console details. It reminds us of those great gaming days when the Game Informer magazine would show up in the mailbox. Anyway, Sony has already announced the June 2nd issue will be fully dedicated to the PS5 and everything the console has to offer. A big focus on the magazine will be the games coming to the PS5, which will end up giving the console leverage over all of its competitors. And the launch titles will certainly help build hype. One of the most anticipated? A sequel to Spider-Man. With even better graphics and a bigger world to explore, a Spider-Man sequel would instantly become a must-have game on the PS5. While the game may not be available at launch, the hype around it would help push console sales and give some graphic updates to the original Spider-Man. Sony also has exclusive access to franchises like Gran Turismo and Uncharted, two franchises who will undoubtedly be a part of the PS5. The June announcements are also rumored to include a number of third-party developer games. Much like how Nintendo builds hype with their Nintendo Direct feeds, a digital PS5 channel will highlight the ever-growing library of upcoming games and give players plenty to look forward to in the coming months. Along with full console specs and hardware details, Sony could also reveal one of the features they recently patented, the Spoiler Blocker. Players can enjoy games without knowing what future trophies are available, and connect with other gamers with seeing key spoilers and game endings. The built-in software feature will keep social connections alive so players do not avoid interactions in an effort to stay away from major game spoilers. If anything, when it comes to Sony, expect the unexpected. The company has unleashed unusual marketing strategies over the years and still manages to find a lot of success along with a loyal fan base. Remember the early days where some of the commercials could give you nightmares? Or even the recent PS4 ads where hearts with blue blood appeared inside a collection of PS4 consoles? Yeah, they definitely got us talking, and we cannot wait to see the approach with the PS5, especially all the ways they could turn the DualSense controller into memorable video ads. 
Either way, June is going to be one of the biggest months for the PS5. And just like with any other news and rumors, always take this as a well-intended theory, because Sony could change their mind at any moment. We're ready to see the full console, and while we may not get a hands-on preview for a long time, we would love for a plethora of digital content to digest and enjoy for the next six months. If Sony also starts their pre-sales in June, they could build up a lot of momentum heading into the holiday season, and make the PS5 one of their biggest launches yet. Does the June date make sense? We think so, especially with the launch of the PlayStation Magazine PS5 Edition. What do you want to see most about the console? Let us know in the comments! Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more great content.